Most of the forecasts going into 2013 are looking at pretty much a soft recovery continuing or stagnating a bit. Um, it's volatile for sure as far as the markets are concerned. Beyond shale gas and natural resource development, what sort of blueprint do you have for job creation in, in riding out uh, the uh, economic storm? Sure, and and uh, really good question. Uh, and and actually, I think we're all watching very closely what takes place in the U.S. over the next couple of weeks and what the uh, the impacts of uh, whether or not the U.S. is able to come to an agreement on uh, their fiscal situation uh, uh, and what that could mean for for us. So uh, we're certainly watching that very closely. Um, we we need to realize how closely New Brunswick is tied to the U.S. economy. And you know, over 80% of what uh, we produce, we export. You know, we're a, a small province when it comes to population, so uh, we're, our economy is very based uh, uh, significantly on, on export markets. Uh, so when the U.S. is hurting, uh, that uh, has a big impact on us. 85% of what we export actually goes to the U.S. Um, so... You know, seeing where things go uh, with with those markets, the importance of diversifying our markets. Uh, that's why uh, I, I led a, a delegation to China, uh, looking to uh, be able to find new markets to uh, to export our, our products to. Uh, that's why we're uh, certainly engaged with the federal government and other provinces in in the negotiations on a, an agreement with Europe uh, to open up economic opportunities in New Brunswick as an example which is within the fishing industry where there could be very significant benefits. Uh, we've come forward uh, over the, the last year in a, uh, a strategy on focusing in on six key sectors. So we, we talk a lot about natural resource developments. Uh, so you know we, we've, we've talked about the uh, revitalized forestry sector and there's some some positive signs. With uh, the built within the building and construction areas in in the U.S. to uh, to see some of that start to rebound in some of the decisions that we have made to ensure that uh, companies like the the pulp mill and paper mills in St. John can be strong. Um, the uh, uh, above and beyond that, with natural resources, the potential of the pipeline, the natural gas, and the mining opportunities that exist in New Brunswick. Uh, outside of natural gas, there's a lot of work going on in the defense and aerospace sectors. And we hear a lot of the opportunity that exists with the Nova Scotia shipbuilding contracts with the Irving family. Uh, New Brunswick companies are getting ready to be able to participate in that. Uh, we've seen a company in uh, a gentleman, Barry Kyle, from the Bathurst area that's won a very significant contract, uh, over $100 million in uh, land-based uh, retrofitting of uh, uh, military equipment, and we see more opportunity for that coming to New Brunswick. A revitalized ICT uh, sector in New Brunswick, and St. John is certainly a central part of that. Uh, those opportunities right now, there are more than 700 jobs not filled in the ICT sector in New Brunswick because the right skill uh, sets aren't aren't there. So there's a lot of work going. On in that, we've just announced a new innovation strategy for the province, working very closely with the private sector and academia. And in the coming uh, uh, coming weeks and months, we'll be rolling out the strategy, which will allow companies uh, to really look to the future on how we can strategically uh, improve our economic competitiveness in, in the province. Uh, we're, uh, we're doing a lot of work with industrial fabrication and we see companies like Sunny Corner Mechanical, uh, companies like industrial fabrication in uh, the Miramichi, uh, work going on up in the Beldoon area, uh, connecting with major uh, mega projects in Newfoundland, Labrador, Northern Quebec and uh, places like Nunavut. Uh, so there are uh, lots to be uh, uh, lots of reasons why I'm optimistic about the future. Uh, is uh, is it a difficult time? Absolutely. Uh, but there are strategies in place to, again, continue to move the province forward.